Hello, Demistroclus here. Welcome to my first guide. Today I will show you how to solo a Baron on a mage with as little waste as possible. I assume you all know how to get here, so that will not be shown in this video. Inside the boss room, the first thing you want to do is place a box of energy walls around the pillars. The pillars will help you run Oberon safely. Wait at the pillar until Oberon is about 2 square meter away, then proceed to the next one. That ensures that he keeps walking on energy. As a druid, you spam Terror Wave, Ice Wave, Terror Wave, Strong Strike. Sorcerers have it a little worse due to the 8 second cooldown on Energy Wave, so they need to toss an occasional SD between their spells. If you time your spells correctly, usually you can avoid the Ground Shaker Poison and Holy Beam, so even on Magic Shield, this way of killing Oberon will cut your waste by a lot. Gear wise, I recommend the maximum elemental defense possible if you are new or below 350. Since Death Protection Imbue is more expensive and gives only 10%, I recommend using Herb on the armor as well. It will net the same resistance in the end. Once you are comfortable and above level 350, you can drop some of the elemental imbues if you fancy. For supplies you need as little as 100 ultimate manas, 16 energy walls and 6 energy bombs. Also bring 2 death rings and swap it mid-fight, so you can sell them later. Whittle the boss down to red HP. Oberon will heal full, become invulnerable and spawn a falcon paladin. Place two energy bombs in the middle of the room and try to make the boss and paladin walk across it as much as possible. While invulnerable, Oberon will spam orange messages to which you need to give the correct reply. His first sentence is always world, so you can spam the appropriate reply immediately. During this stage, you should use UE and waves as much as possible. This is the riskiest and most chaotic phase of the boss fight, so be careful. Ouch. That was rather lucky. Use a toggle earring if you find yourself in a position that might kill you. Mostly that's the corners when they come close. When the Falcon Paladin is about to die, you can build the box with energy walls again to run the main boss around. Now all you have to do is kill the boss 3 more times and give 2 correct answers. To find the correct answer quickly and easy, I can suggest 2 tricks. Trick 1. Write yourself a paper note labeling keywords of Oberon's sentences with numbers. The number will correspond to the position of the reply on your action bar. Trick 2. If you have space on your action bar, simply place the keywords below the replies. Just make sure to click the answer and not the keyword, because you only have 10 minutes to kill the boss and usually I need around 9. A wrong reply will make you have to kill Oberon one additional time, and you will fail. So let's have a look at the supplies wasted in this fight. The balance counter shows 35k waste. 5k from that is due to the might ring I forgot to swap in the beginning. Counting 15k for imbues, your actual waste will be somewhere below 50k. Even with the new mana and rune prices, your waste would be just around 55k. That's probably 3 times lower than what most people do on Otamo. There are a few pitfalls you need to avoid when soloing this boss. One thing I mess up a lot is to reply to the boss in the wrong channels. Let's just say I didn't make it that round. The most important thing you need to avoid is getting stuck in the north. The 3 center square meter are unwalkable if you step too far. You cannot walk left or right. So don't end up like me here please. And also keep your mana up, that usually helps. So far on my druid I died 4 out of 10 times, which is a pretty bad ratio. In this one my death ring expired and I was missing one of the defensive imbues, so I would have lived for sure. The next one is even sadder, because for whatever reason I did not wear half of my recommended gear. Would have lived again. The failure in the north you saw earlier this vid, and for this last death I should have used an earring, because the melee of the paladin actually got me. This is the only death where gear would not have helped. Alternatively a might ring would have done the job. So to wrap it up, the actual recommended mage level to solo a Baron on HP would be 300+. plus. As long as you wear proper gear and stay out of melee damage, you should not get comboed. You can still die, but if you do things proper, you save money in the long run. Also, if you still are a fairly low level or new to this, use energy rings or might rings when the paladin is spawned until you are more comfortable. The guide ends here, but I'll let the rest of the fight run at regular speed for those who are interested. Thanks for watching.